Greetings from Edu Aspirants, our YouTube channel to ace academics, competitions, entrance exams, as also for enrichment of knowledge. In the series of videos on current affairs, this is the 15th video in which we shall see what we have for you for the first fortnight of August 2023. The Lokmanya Tilak National Award constituted by Tilak Smarak Mandir Trust in 1983 to honor the legacy of Lokmanya Tilak for 2023 has been conferred upon Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi. So this award is conferred on the death anniversary of Lokmanya Tilak on August 1 every year. India's 17-year-old grandmaster who has become the youngest player in chess history to cross 2750 rating is Gukesh D. And this is a picture of Gukesh. He crossed 2750 rating at the age of 17.17, breaking the previous record held by Magnus Carlsen, who crossed 2750 rating at the age of 17.34 years. He has also become India's number one chess player, overtaking Vishwanathan Anand after he qualified for the third round of FIDE World Cup by defeating Azerbaijani Grandmaster Miss Ratnin Iskandarov. Quality variants of three genes have been linked to obesity-related conditions in women while having no effect on men. The variants linked to higher BMI body mass index in women are PTPRG, DIDO1 and SLC12A5. Over 80% of women with DIDO1 and SLC12A5 variants had obesity as revealed by their body mass index values. This is a picture of a variant. World Archery The youngest ever senior world champion who has won India's first ever individual gold medal at the Berlin World Archery Championship 2023 in the women's individual compound event is 17-year-old Aditi Swami. She earlier became the junior champion also. She beat Mexico's Andrea Becerra 149-147 score. This is our Aditi. Ojas Deotale also became the first ever Indian male archer to win a gold medal in the same championship. And this is our OGIS. A set of mental health symptoms such as hearing certain sounds without any outside noise, nausea, vertigo and headaches, memory loss and balance issues is named Havana syndrome. It traces its roots to Cuba from 2016 where some American people had visited and they suffered from these mental health symptoms. The free movement regime FMR along the India-Myanmar border has complicated the volatile situation in Manipur due to migration of tribal Kukichin people from Myanmar. And why do they migrate? The border between India and Myanmar runs for 1,643 kilometers, bordering the four states of India, which are Mizoram, Manipur, Nagaland, and Arunachal Pradesh. And now the complication. FMR, that is Free Movement Regime, allows tribes living along the border to travel up to 16 kilometers inside the other country without a visa. The Janjan Sakshar Ulhas Initiative 
that is understanding lifelong learning for all in society that is ulas aims to transform education and literacy nationwide by creating a learning ecosystem that provides basic education digital and financial literacy and critical life skills to individuals in the age group 15 years and above who missed the chance to attend school the national highways authority of india nhai introduced raj marg yatra which is a mobile app as a centralized source of crucial information for national highway users providing real time weather updates timely notifications and access to pertinent details on nearby toll plazas petrol pumps hospitals hotels and other vital services ensuring a smooth and secure travel experience on the national highways India's first post office near LRC that is line of action control has been inaugurated in Kupwara district of Jammu and Kashmir this post office is located on the banks of river Kishan Ganga and the pin code of the post office is 193224 that's a board we got it for you from Kheram where the post office is located Speaking from the Red Fort on the 77th Independence Day on August 15, the Prime Minister stated that the Trinity, demography, democracy, and diversity have the potential to realize all the dreams of the country, and we have to also fight the three evils with full force to achieve our goals and dreams, and these are. corruption dynastic politics and appeasement this brings us to the end of our video on current affairs 15 for the first fortnight of august 2023 see you with the next video on current affairs in 15 days keep revising you might have questions from this video in your forthcoming exams please subscribe like share and do press the bell icon for updates